Aloha again. With our copyright update program wrapping up this week, we wanted to provide you an update and cover additional questions we've received about copyright in general. Today, I'm here with Diana, our membership director. First, we wanted to remind you that you will have to agree to the updated copyright terms in research by Thursday, March 1. Clicking I agree will take you into research. If you click I'll do this later after March 1st, you'll be returned to the research login page. As we explained in our previous video, this updated agreement addresses a compilation copyright that specifically covers the way HIS stores and arranges MLS information in its database. Fewer than 2% of our members have yet to click through this agreement, and we very much appreciate your consideration and your support of this initiative. And if you have any questions about this program, you can contact me. My number is 808-748-8772, and my email address is diana at highinfo.com. We want to make sure that you're comfortable with the way HIS manages copyrights. And before closing, we wanted to address a follow-up question on this topic. We'd like to cover scenarios where HIS does assert copyright over listing data itself and where it does not. HIS files listing data with the U.S. Copyright Office each quarter on behalf of those members that have agreed to assign the copyrights for their listing information to us. This is done via the SLAA, or Subscriber License and Access Agreement. The SLAA is a standard form that all members sign to participate in the MLS. Section 6 of the SLAA provides two options. Option 1 assigns the copyrights to HIS, and Option 2 grants HIS a license to the information but keeps copyrights with the broker. Most brokers and agents choose Option 1, so most listing data is submitted as part of our quarterly copyright filing, which provides an important tool in protecting MLS information. Of course, if a broker selects Option 2, their information is not included in our copyright filings. Even when copyrights are assigned to us, the SLAA explains that HIS is very limited in what it can do with it. First and foremost, subscribers are always free to do whatever they want with the information they submit to the MLS, and HIS can only use the information to perform its duties as an MLS in service of its members. And again, if you have questions about any of this, Diana will be happy to help. And you are free to change your copyright selection at any time by executing a new SLAA. And keep an eye out in March when we will be updating the SLAA to add the same compilation copyright information that we're working on now. We hope that you found this video helpful, and if so, we'll keep making videos. Please don't hesitate to send any feedback our way because everyone benefits from having all of the information they need to do their work. Until next time, mahalo. Thank you.